All right, what's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's currently the 18th of January and we are about to head to the gym for an evening workout. I've been slamming food all day, making the most of the time that we do have left until prep begins. But we need to change real quick, head downstairs, get in the car, and make our way there. We just slammed three bagels, a massive bowl of cereal, two squares bars, and a double scoop of protein. And this car really needs to clean now. <laughs> This shit looks way too cool from the inside. Kind of like these joggers. And I'm actually training today with my boy Ryan. You know the really big one? The one that's really tall, who has like a really fat mullet? That's Ryan. We're already three exercises deep. I was just so excited to come in and train today. Like I actually completely forgot about the fact that I was going to record some of it. It has been already a fantastic chest day. We've done incline dumbbell press. We warmed up on some side lat raises. And now we're doing an incredible machine press. I'll be right for a few. Yo, my chest is fucking gone. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, finish. There we go. Thanks, man. Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay. The only thing I'm gonna need is the left arm. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Press. There we go. Yep. You got it, come on. Press. Here we go, finish it. I'm here for two. Here for two, come on. Yep. All the way. Go again. Yep. Finish it. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, man. I turned 27 years old on the 5th of January. And we were planning, I know, 27, right? It's crazy. I've always wanted to try Tulum. Like, everyone always raves about it, always wanted to try it, knew that I would one day. So we looked at the flights and actually found a really, really good cheap flight on the 10th of January until the 15th of January. So just after my birthday, dudes that, like, are... You know, you're bigger than the average guy and you're like, oh my God, let's go on holiday. Let's have a great time in the sun. And then when like you're actually there and like you're dripping in sweat, you're just drenched head to toe and you're like, wow, this is actually not that fun. <laughs> and then you have to get the good seat on the flight. You have to be there at the emergency exit. Otherwise you're cramped between like some dude and some pregnant lady in the middle, just absolutely squeezed to hell. So when I sit down, my legs just like get like pinned into the, so it sucks for the person in front of me too. To be honest, like, I felt like I was a, a bit cherry faced. I felt like I went redder than Ryan's t shirt. Sample. <laughs> right, and that's a wrap on chest and triceps. That was a fucking really good session, and especially like at the end, 
just like pushing triceps to the max, like just making sure that your arms are like almost splitting. To catch up on the calories that we didn't get in today, because we tried to eat what we could, it was subpar to what we should have got in, so we're gonna do sushi. Just over a thousand calories left to get in, so we're gonna do that. All right, so 10 past 12 right now. I got the sushi from the place that like is literally like there's one place open until midnight, and it was this place right here. We got a feast. This is pretty heavy, not gonna lie. Like when the Uber Eats guy like gave me the food and I like held the bag, I was like, holy shit, we're about to go to town on a considerable amount of protein, carbs, and necessary fats. 36 pieces and miso soup. I was feeling pretty peckish to be fair. They gave me three miso soups. It's just one of those things where like, it's the final order of the night and they're just like, you know what? We gotta get rid of it. So we're gonna give it to the guy. I feel like if you have sushi, it's the sodium that really f messes you up the next morning. Like you can wake up with like a bloated face because it's just so much salt. So we're gonna stay away from that. Absolutely not. Right, I'm gonna show you the feast. And while eating this, I'm gonna do a total of two things because it's been a very productive day. It's been a very busy day. It's been a day that I've been very grateful for. So we deserve some freaking sushi. This is the first tray. This is the second tray. You can kind of probably tell what the rolls are just by looking at them. And you can always tell if the sushi place is good or really bad by this piece right here. Very simple. But if it's good, mm. Very fresh. Surprising, being the fact that it's midnight. So like I said, there's two things I'm gonna do while I eat this. First thing is I'm gonna watch some anime. And then secondly, Geordie got me a gift because she went to a brunch today. She got invited on this like girls brunch where there's like, you know, they drink on a Sunday, finger food. And it's just like a big like, you know, girls get together and they talk and all that sort of stuff. And that's what she did. When I went to go pick her up, she surprised me with something very close to my heart. And it's something I don't do a lot and I should do more. With my upbringing, I had really, really bad anger issues. And one of my survival mechanisms was always like art, drawing, you know, expressing myself on a pad because it was the only thing that would get my head out of the aggression and just like the ADHD that I had when I was a kid. I had counseling for many years and it, it, it helped it go away. And obviously like as I grew up and became more mature, basically as soon as I hit high school, it kind of all went away. In doing so, I spent probably hundreds, if not thousands of hours at a sketch pad. And the set that she got me has a mix of everything. So we got some pencils, we got some charcoal right there and a proper sketch pad. And it's, it's the sketch pad where like the paper it receives the pencil very, very nicely. It's got like a textured pad. We're gonna do a Japanese scene. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'll show you if you're interested. It might take me a week when I can find the time, but I know that it's necessary to find time doing things that allow you to sort of de-stress and come to a place within, because you can be so focused. If you're the kind of person and you wanna achieve a lot in life and you wanna do a lot and you wanna like, you know, not waste any time and you feel like you're running out of time, this is pretty much me. Just based on the realization that I, I know I am not gonna live forever. And there's a lot of stuff that I wanna do. But doing things like this reminds you, you do actually have a sufficiently generous amount of time to achieve all the things you want to and enjoy the simple things in life. Good morning, it is currently the next day and we do have quite a busy day ahead of us. Left myself not much time to get things ready for today because we're heading downtown to Toronto. It's about half an hour away to do a shoot. This is gonna be for the Take Flight Season 2 collection with Hardbody that is now live on the website. But the website at the moment is currently closed down and it has been for the last week and a half because we're going through a maintenance phase right now where we're essentially like trying to upgrade all the little things in the business whether it be fulfillment management behind the scenes things that are being done that need to be done for a company to run successfully be automated and make sure that everyone's having an awesome time shopping and just like an experience with the brand so with all those goals in mind we are upgrading our fulfillment we're moving from one warehouse to a different fulfillment team we've closed down the website to make it easier for when the website does open up so they're not bombarded with orders and the the reason we've done this is to be able to offer a few things. One, better shipping rates. Two, better customer service. The shipping rates are gonna be like decreased by like a pound globally, which means literally everywhere. If you're shopping from in the UK, US, Canada, or anywhere else in the world, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper. It will get to you a little bit faster. And we're also now able to offer a better returns policy for anyone that orders a wrong size, wrong color. Before we had to be quite restrictive with the returns policy because for some reason, the fulfillment that we were using, they had a weird like hygiene policy which is really annoying but we had to adhere to what their rules were but now we can make our own rules and when the website does become available again on the 22nd of January on the Monday we're gonna be starting a one week long January sale where everything on the website is gonna be 25% off or more so make sure you're on the website on Monday it's gonna be 6 p.m. UK time that it is officially available that's when the sale is gonna start so make sure on Monday you head over to the store and get what you can all right so we just arrived at the location for the shoot it's some random studio in downtown Toronto, about 20 minutes out from Central. And I booked this place literally two
two days ago. One thing that's fantastic about Toronto is there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of studios. So very glad we managed to find this place. The clothing is inside, everything's steamed, ironed, pressed, it's all ready. We got two of the boys inside already, Ryan and Paige are on the way. Annabelle will be here a little bit later, but we have five people, including myself, to get as much as we can of the new Take Flight season two. <laughs> Are you ready for your big shoot? Yeah, I'm shooting like this. We've got some beverages and stuff on the table too. Some rains and some monster just in case anyone is feeling thirsty. We've got some Pringles. This is like a pizza version. Never seen those before. We've got the clothing on the rack here. The boys are getting changed right now into the first outfit, but the wash black set, the gray set. We've got the yin and yang print. This is called the equilibrium t-shirt. Nothing too bad, bro. It's looking good. Oh yeah. shit. Emmanuel's ready. It's actually a really nice color. Cheers. Bro, do you fucking ever train chess? Holy fuck. Each individual like print and design a four o'clock in the morning thing where I was just like, you know, trying to like create the collection and then seeing it come to life. Pretty cool feeling. Dragon design with hard body right here. That says take flight in Japanese. Then we got born for greatness alive to take flight. And that is a wrap on the shoot. Overwhelmed, so happy with how well it went. Like everyone was so lovely, came on time. Like we had a two hour slot, group shots, couple shots, outside shots. It's just the coolest feeling ever. I have a lot of work to do now. Everything needs to be edited. I wouldn't have it any other way. All right. Good morning. Today's the day. We're going to view some properties. Me and Jordi are currently looking for a one year rental property that we can stay in to be like situated in a consistent place for at least a year. We've been renting Airbnbs as of recently just because like, you know, and it's annoying because you have to like jump from place to place because not every Airbnb is available for a prolonged period of time. You kind of like get what you can get. We'd love to be in a much better position because we lived in the UK for two years essentially. And now we're looking to do Canada for at least a year to get a better idea of where we want to spend most of our time. And I genuinely prefer Canada. I know Geordie prefers Canada, but to do that, we need a place because also Airbnbs are more expensive than obviously if you were going to get a long-term rental. So let's go view some places. All right, so this is the brief overview of the place we've come to see first today. Honestly, it ticks all the boxes. It's a little bit smaller than the places that we've seen previous, but honestly, like in terms of the modernness, the cleanness, the fact that it's a new build, it's never been lived in before. So you know that like it doesn't have like any chips or any like it doesn't need repainting. There's a huge walk-in closet. There's three bedrooms, two bath, a massive living and dining space downstairs. And it's below the price that we initially set out to get. So this place is a decent find for the first one of the day. All the places that we're viewing are in the same sort of like general location. They're in the Oakville, Milton, and Burlington area. So everywhere that we are viewing isn't that far apart. I was like, don't worry about it. This second place is essentially staged. So it has like a bunch of furniture already like placed out. I think it's available to buy, but also to rent. So essentially they've like, you know, placed things around. Like that is so much light coming in, which is really, really important, which opens out this space so much in terms of just like the living and dining and kitchen area. It's already been lived in before, obviously. So it doesn't have that brand new sort of finish. What do you rate the first one? Eight and a half out of 10, I would say. And then this one? Maybe five and a half. Five and a half. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't as much of a fan of this one just because the downstairs, I didn't bother showing you, but the downstairs, it was very, very weird. There was mannequins and just like strange things around. And this is actually the third time that we've actually been out and looked at property. So we have a really good baseline now in knowing what we like. And this one isn't one of them, unfortunately. I'm just out here waiting for Geordie to pop the question so I can legally buy. <laughs> Currently at property number four, we just saw number three, but there was tenants in there. So we couldn't record anything. Like I felt rude, like even recording outside. So I didn't just saw this one. The entire inside is destroyed. The pictures that we saw online were beautiful, but those were like the listing pictures before this has been lived in number four is a no-go and that's going to conclude our search for properties at least for well the next few days over the course of going out three times and looking at like day one was like two properties day two was like three and obviously this most recent one was four properties and we liked three of them in total put offers down on two and we didn't get them the first one we really liked didn't want us to live there because they wanted a family to live there and i was like what's better than two young adults that aren't destructive like why would you want kids to destroy the walls but essentially they had an 
ideal client in mind and it wasn't us. The second place we went back and forth quite a while, they didn't like the fact that I was from the UK and the person that was gonna be like on, like the named person on the thing is obviously gonna be Geordie because she's Canadian. We're not married, so legally I can't be like, you know, listed on anything, but I can still pay for, you know, obviously the place. We suggested that we would give them six months or a year rent up front, but for some reason they didn't want that either. The search continues and I know that relatively soon in the near future we are gonna find a place because we do still have an Airbnb at least until at the moment the 15th of March. Obviously the time we don't stay here will be refunded for. We're pretty set for at least the next seven weeks so I'm hoping at least in the next three, four weeks we find a place proving to be a little bit more difficult than we would have liked. But the most important thing right now is that we have a consistent routine which we have which is amazing because everywhere we're looking is within like 10-15 minutes of each other and the Airbnb we're in right now is like five minutes from Geordie's mom's, 10 minutes from the gym, it's all in the general vicinity so life isn't going to really change other than where we have our things but other than that everything is going absolutely fantastic. We had a brilliant time in Mexico that was awesome. Obviously it's very apparent that I didn't really tan much because I got a spray tan before I got there and then I got paler as the trip went on. And I personally being from the UK, I'm not gonna tan that well unless I go away for like two or three weeks. So we've got what we've got and it is what it is. I'm not really too fussed about being tanned. The only time I care about being tanned is on stage competing. And that's the prep for that is gonna start, I think three days time. Meaning that the shredding series is just around the corner. We are almost, I think we're like a thousand away from hitting a million subscribers. So we're not there just yet. So I can't celebrate, but like it's growing so quickly. The shorts on this channel are just like blowing this channel up. But in regards to long form videos, there's gonna be a lot of them because I've Obviously, when I'm prep, I like to document the whole thing, take you guys along for the ride. So there's gonna be a lot of vlogs coming in the future. And any day that there's not a vlog, I'll probably post a short so we can post daily on the channel and get to two million, hopefully a lot quicker than it has taken to almost hit one million. So there's a lot to be excited about. I can't wait to take you along for the ride. But guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, turn on those notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps the channel grow, help us get to a million. It blows my mind the past eight and a half years have literally flown by and I can't wait to do it all again. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.